it's been fantastic seeing the response on Nix and Indy 5. Everyone's so excited to just share more and show really who these characters are and what actual stories they will go through. Star Wars is very much a story about friendship and family. Kay was going to need a companion to help guide her through the underworld. Nyx is a new creature. He's called a Merkel. We designed him here at Massive in close collaboration with Lucasfilm Games. We always lead with story. And so a lot of Nyx's arc and the different experiences he and Kay have influence what he looks like. He's from this unnamed jungle planet. So he needed to have some sort of uh, tough side to him. You know, he has a lot of skills that were based on, for example, a pangolin. It is definitely a predator. He's ferocious. But he also has a soft side and he really needed that. So he also has very soft fur on his belly. You can give him a belly rub. We really wanted Nyx to be able to communicate. And for that, we added his ears based on the axolotl. But he actually uses it a lot to be very expressive. You'd be surprised the range you can cover in terms of Nix's squeaks. And we'd actually write to, you know, this is an angry squeak, this is a curious squeak, this is an inquisitive squeak. I would start by making some sounds and they'd say yes, more of that, less of that, until we kind of clarified it right into something that locks into just the perfect sound for this little guy. And in a lot of cases, it's, it's less is more that like a dog or something where it's not always talking, but it's always thinking and it's always listening. That tracks back to my dog, Zira. I think I drew upon her as inspiration for the tone of, of Nyx. What the team was very passionate about as well was uh, to take inspiration from uh, their own pets. And that really shows in the design as well, the way that his animations and the way he moves throughout the world. We had a puppeteer with an actual puppet on set at mocap. So he had a presence on set with Umberley as Kay. It worked very well. Having that puppet helped so much with the performance of the actors that when we translate it into the CG, it feels like they really interact with that character. We rely on Nyx for conveying some of Kay's unspoken emotions. She doesn't feel as alone and she feels validated and reassured through her companion, through her family. It's almost codependent, but it's a symbiotic relationship. They give each other what they need. Camille, the puppeteer, was fantastic. She made this whole puppet, it was great, and people really connected to it. So we would take that 3D data, then the animators Montpellier and Massive would animate on top of that. Nyx was created by so many different departments, and the animation department added so much to him, but definitely also Dee Bradley Baker, who is voicing Nyx. He, he added this whole layer to Nyx as well. He really reminds me of my pets. We think that people are going to really connect Showtime, with buddy. these two best friends who are trying to survive in the galaxy together, and we're hoping that they welcome them into their hearts, just like some of the other Star Wars characters. Everything's going to be all right, Nyx. Hey, Andy. It speaks to the beauty of Star Wars, right? You take something that is so simple, like a beat up coat, and then you throw it onto something extraordinary, like a droid, and you get something completely new and exciting. He has a trench coat, he's covering up his battle scars, because he's a BX commando from the Clone Wars era. But eventually the Clone Wars ended, and he ended up, you know, getting in deeply involved in the underworld, working as an enforcer droid. And then from that time period, from where the Clone Wars ended to when he meets Kay, that's really a mystery that's going to be unveiled for players. Anka's a broker, not a friend. What motivates ND5 is his duty. She can't be trusted. But beyond that, it would be redemption, freedom, and a search for purpose. We've got a welcoming committee. He's been assigned to watch over her, and at the start, she really doesn't like that because she doesn't need a babysitter. I'm guessing you don't work in a team all that much. It is not my preference. Yeah, you and me both. Slowly, as their relationship progresses, uh, he starts to care for Kay. As much as a droid can care for a human, she sees it as, you know, he shows up, he, he comes through, and that's something that Kay hasn't always had. I think he's like her confidant. Um, ultimately, they have great chemistry, probably much to his dismay. Ultimately, they become friends. Hiding some of those telltale features uh, and some of the scars of battle with a trench coat was something that the art team really gravitated towards. 
It tells a story of ND5. There's so much detail in it. There's like all small damage and small wear and tear. There's some dirt here and there. We really wanted to show that this he's been wearing this jacket for a long time and it does have a meaning to him. And we put a lot of effort into the details of it. Doing uh, mocap as a droid is, is difficult. You have to use the voice and the voice and the body only to express yourself. But you're a droid, so you can't be very expressive with your voice and you can't be very expressive with your body. So it was, uh, there was a lot of fine tuning in the process, but I think we found a comfortable balance and we found some personality. He did a fantastic job of really bringing that character to life in a very grounded, realistic way given that he is this big, heavy, old droid. Then the animators would tone down the humanness of it so it feels more droid-like. I said, run. He's got to learn how to deliver his lines without any noticeable breathing. We tend to breathe on the end of lines. So, where do we go next? And then within all of that, he has to act, right? He has to be this character. What does a petty criminal from Cantobite know about droids? No, oh, he knows all kinds of things. It's a constant challenge but it is a lot of fun. As soon as we met in person, uh, we had instant, like, great banter. We joke around a lot. We care for each other. That definitely shows on screen and in the game. They need to have a special bond. And I think the relationship between he and Kay, it's powerful. Hey, Andy. Hi, Kay. So it's very easy to bring that to life.